Welcome to my DIY Flowwell install project. This is for an ADU in the Portland area. I used two flow wells that accommodated about a thousand square foot of roofing runoff. Your needs may vary depending on your project. This hole that I dug was 40 inches deep, 60 inches long, and 30 inches wide. That allowed me to accommodate a little over 200 gallons of rainwater runoff. The 40 inches is important because you need a minimum of 8 inches over the top of your flow well for compaction and weight above it. Now, the instructions tell you to wrap this barrel in landscape fabric to keep soil from getting into the rocks. I'm going to line the pit with the fabric. That way I have more uh, water absorption area. My, you know, cubic yards or gallons that it can absorb without dirt getting it will be even larger. So. Uh, after I put those barrels in, I'm going to raise about 18 inches up of rock and then fold the fabric down on top of it and attach it to the barrel. On the barrel here, my inlet's going to be, you know, just below where these knockouts are. So these smaller knockouts, I'm going to take all those out below that level where the inlet is so that it can seep through and dissipate about 18 inches. I'm going to cut this fabric, which is six feet wide. I'm going to cut it at 11 feet and place it in the hole lengthwise. Take your hammer and chisel and knock out all of the um, preformed holes that you want to remove. I ended up removing about up to about 18 inches worth and left the top layer there. Uh, then you can go ahead and reassemble your flow well and put it in the hole. There's our gravel, we'll use about three quarters of a yard in this hole. And I will cut two extra pieces. This is a six foot long piece of fabric going that way. It'll be flopped out against the walls. I'll stuff two more short pieces on each end <clears throat> and fold that over the gravel. So it encapsulates the gravel and provides a place where dirt won't get into the gravel. All right, we've got our two pieces. This is our piece that's going to go from there into the first hole. This one's going to connect the two in between here. Use your level or your other pipe and lay it on top of your inlet pipe, and that'll give you an idea of where you want your inlet to enter the dry well. Before I glue that up, I'm going to pull it back out just cut an X in that fabric and slide it through the fabric. That way we have a little protected area. All right, so we've got the pipe coming in from the ditch into the side of the first bin. Make sure that your second pipe uh, connecting the two bins is a little bit lower than the inlet from your first pipe. So we've got our second layer of fabric around the outside there. It's tucked in behind that first layer, and that'll allow us to bring the round rock up to the very brim on the sides of these containers. Now, I just put a little bit of the rock inside the bottom of each one just to kind of stabilize it so it wouldn't move around to protect it from deforming. One note that I would make is that after you do that, put these caps on. Uh, I've noticed that they deformed a little bit. It was kind of hard to wrangle them back into shape and put those on. So put those caps on to keep them solid and then continue to fill your rocks in around the outside of them. So both of these flow wells are now bedded in and we're at the point where we're just waiting for an inspection on that. I've got a couple more fittings to put on to connect to the gutter over here. One thing to remember is that tracer wire. If you see that green wire down there, that's just in case something needs to, uh, you know, attach a, um, detector to that and then be able to find their line if they're digging. Well, we passed inspection, so we buried it over and I'll call this a success.